Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here today in this video I'll be showing you guys how to set up and play the Zemun Xbox simulator on your Android devices in 2024 I'll be showing you guys the best settings gameplay and much more but before getting started if you guys are new here hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification let's get started now Zemu is the only Xbox simulator which can be ran on your Android devices and as this simulator hasn't officially launched for mobile devices we'll be using a Windows emulator for Android to emulate the Windows version of this app on our Android devices. For today's video we'll be using the WinLater Android which is an open source Windows emulator for Android and we'll be using the version 7.1 of WinLater Android. With that being said let's get started. Now if you don't already know what's WinLater it is a wine based Windows emulator for Android and if you want to set it up on your Android devices you can watch the video which I'll put on the iCard above. But basically let me show you guys the best settings for using Zemu on this emulator. So box 86 version keep it at default and same with box 64 version make sure to choose the performance preset for box 86 and box 64. Once that has been done make sure to tap on the stick mark option. Afterwards just go ahead and create a brand new container or use your previous container. Screen size you can set it to custom or I recommend you guys to go with 544p resolution. Afterwards in terms of graphics drivers go with turnip driver and in terms of DX wrapper choose DXVK. Now unfortunately you won't be able to emulate the Zemu emulator if you have a Mali GPU Android device. More about it later on in today's video. Make sure to use the DXVK 1.10.3 and then tap on the OK option. Audio driver should be Pulse Audio. GPU name you can set it as anything. I have set it as GTX 1080 and the video memory size is set to 4 GB. Once that has been done, go to Advanced and make sure that uh, these options have been enabled. Make sure to enable WoW 64 mode and also tick mark all the processors affinity and choose the preset as performance. And the startup selection should be essential. Once that has been done, we are set with creating container uh, for Zemu emulator. Just go ahead and tap on the run button and our Windows emulator should successfully start. The main procedure for running Zemu begins from now. So once the Windows emulator has booted, now we can start emulating Windows apps or games on our Android device. But before doing that, make sure to tap on the start option. Afterwards, go to system tools and wine configuration. Make sure that your Windows version has been set to Windows 10 just like mine. Afterwards, tap on the OK button. The next steps are pretty simple. Just go ahead and open file manager and open the folder where your uh, Zemu emulator has been stored on your Android device. This is important. Now we'll start setting up the Zemu emulator on our Android devices. To emulate some Xbox games, I'll show you guys gameplay too. So right here, as you guys can see, we have the Zemu emulator on my Android device. I'll just go ahead and tap on open. I'll also show you guys how to set up the controls, etc. But there we go. Zemu emulator has successfully started. When you open it for the first time, it will ask you to set it up. For that, just go ahead and go to the machine section. Afterwards, go to settings. Now this is the most important step go to system settings and here we'll need to import the mcpx bios and hard disk so you need to dump these files from your xbox so that you can run this emu emulator let's just go ahead and choose the mcpx file so i'll just go ahead and choose the mcpx bin afterwards tap on open once that has been done let's just go ahead and choose the bios as well so right here i have the xbox bios i'll tap on the open option and the last step is to import the Xbox hard disk image afterwards tap on the open button. Once that has been done, you'll need to restart your Zemu emulator as it says at the top application restart required to apply settings. For that just go ahead and tap on this cross button and reopen the Zemu emulator. This time when it opens it will show you the Xbox intro screen. The next steps are going to be pretty simple. Just go ahead and tap on machine afterwards tap on load disk option. Here you'll need to select the game that you want to try out inside the Zemu emulator. So just go ahead and enable all files option and right here for today's video we'll be trying out Halo 2. So I'll just go ahead and select it afterwards tap on the open button. And once that has been done you'll need to restart the Zemu emulator once again so that it will start your game successfully. But there is one issue with running Xbox games on your Android devices through Zemu. The main issue is going to be controls. For that tap on the settings option. Afterwards go to the input settings. And here in controller section just go ahead and choose controller 1 and afterwards select keyboard as the option. Then tap on the cross button and yeah. Afterwards tap on the view option and then display mode make sure to set it to stress so that you get full screen experience. And now we have successfully set up the Zemu emulator on our Android devices and as you guys can see we are running Halo 2. And for getting the on screen touch controls in Winlater Android we'll swipe back, go to input controls and enable the RTS input touch controls. And there we go, we can just go ahead and tap on the enter button to start our game create a new profile and yeah it is going to be pretty simple you just need to tap on the enter button multiple times and your game should successfully start and this is 100% working by the way as you guys can see whenever I press the arrow keys we can select multiple options and at the top right corner you will be able to see the FPS bar 
but unfortunately it is not accurate at all because it is showing the FPS of Zemu emulator and not the game which is being emulated in inside the Zemu emulator. Anyways, I'll just go ahead and spam the enter button and there we go. You'll be able to emulate Xbox games on your Android devices. And by the way, here's our today's Google Play Store gift card redeem code giveaway which I do daily on my channel. If you also want to participate in this giveaway then be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications. With that being said, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.